artificial intelligence is taking over in 2024, and it seems like you can't go a day without some new breakthrough technology being announced. As a seven-figure Amazon seller, I'm always looking for an edge. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT for Amazon FBA product research to find more winning products in less time using AI. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Miles. I'm a 25-year-old seven-figure Amazon seller on a mission to help as many of you guys as possible build a side hustle or business of your dreams this year. Let's get right into the video. And just to be clear, I don't mean the methods of selling on Amazon that are far too complicated and expensive for beginners, mainly buying products from China than trying to create your own listing on Amazon with Amazon private label. That takes way too much time for the products to actually get here from China or buying name brand products bulk with wholesalers, which is too risky and expensive. It just takes too much capital for beginners. What I'm going to show you guys in this video is how to use ChatGPT for Amazon online arbitrage buying products from big retail websites like Kohl's, Walmart, and Target, then selling them on Amazon for a profit. This is the exact business model that made me over 100K profit in just my first 10 months. Let's get right into ChatGPT. So I am far from an artificial intelligence expert, but here we have ChatGPT 3.5. And basically the way it works, I'd highly recommend just playing with it a little bit. But the cool thing is you can just ask it questions and then it basically just like scours the internet from what I can see and gives you answers. So for example, like using it in the context of product research here, I can type in like what products are selling best on Amazon for spring and summer here. And then it just answers it. So we can see it's saying like, yeah, outdoor and recreational items, clothing and accessories, health and wellness types of products, travel accessories. I probably want it to be a little bit more specific. Like for example, I have a ton of experience selling sporting goods and such. So we can go ahead and type in what sports are best in spring and summer or like what sports are people playing what sports are people playing in spring and summer and now it's going to spit out all the top results and give us ideas of products we can potentially sell so yeah it makes sense right so warm weather activities right so like soccer baseball um, basketball a little bit tennis golf etc so now we have a decent idea of types of products people are going to be seeing or we're going to be seeing an increase in demand for for amazon sellers right and now what we can do is go ahead okay so for example like baseball stuff so like what what brands sell the most baseball gear in america right so let's see so we can see, okay, so like, yeah, Rawlings, Wilson, Easton, Louisville Slugger, Nike, Under Armour, etc. So what you're going to have to do with these brand names is initially you're going to have to identify if they're reseller friendly, which is basically just taking a look and seeing if third party sellers are carrying them. For example, if we go ahead and type in here, Under Armour baseball gear, for example, right? It's like Under Armour baseball pants. The way we're going to gauge if a brand is reseller friendly is initially just taking a look and seeing if other sellers are carrying it. Right. So, for example, if we go to this listing here, we can see the sales ranks really good. So this is like, yeah, like a 680K BSR, 15,000 sales per month, which is a ton. And we can see that there's other third party sellers carrying this product specifically here. Right. So now we want an idea. OK, so we know what brands to sell. Right. We have a bunch of examples here. We're going to focus on Nike and Under Armour examples specifically. But I also want to know what types of baseball gear sells best. Right. And we can really easily like get pretty specific with the stuff here. So we can see, okay, baseball bats, baseball gloves, etc. right? So say I want to just let the Amazon search bar tell me what types of Nike baseball products are selling best. I would just come up here and type in Nike baseball. And then we can see it's popping up like pants, cleats, belts, etc. right? So say we go ahead and plug this in and just search this. Now it's going to spit out the Amazon results that are getting the most traffic here, right? So I want to look specifically for Nike baseball, so like for example, these socks, uh, Nike baseball socks right here, right? And then we can go ahead and see, okay, what other baseball gear we got? So like these uh, Under Armour baseball pants popped up here, so we'll take a look at those as well, right? Let's see, more results. Yeah, these belts here we'll definitely take a look at and uh, such. Let's see, got some caps. Yeah, baseball belts right here, right, and such. And we can also get more specific, like, yeah, baseball pants here and such. So this is a decent way of doing product research. Because you can literally have ChatGPT tell you the best performing products here, the best brands, as long as we verify that the resets are friendly. And then all we need to go ahead and do is actually just open up and take a look at what the Amazon results are showing us here. And then we need to dive in and be able to find this stuff properly. So this is literally applicable for any time. Like imagine doing this 
during uh, Christmas or during back to school and having ChatGPT tell you the best types of products to sell that time of the year. Like you can literally always do this and it's always applicable. And then you just need to figure out, okay, what brands are reseller friendly on Amazon and sell this kind of stuff. And then we just need to be able to find a certain amount of it properly. Right. So for example, in C, these are 197 K sales rank. That's a little bit higher, a little bit slower selling, but we'll see if the keep a chart shows movement here, which we can see um, does show movement and pretty stable price here as well. Um, in terms of this, right? So if you're unfamiliar, this is Keepa. This is Seller App here. These are two product research tools I use every single day. And such, I have full tutorials on both on my channel here. So let's see. Oh, okay, check this out. Here we go. So yeah, we got a couple potential. So we got these here at 62 and then these here at 46 on Hibbit here, right? So we can see they got an eight and an eight and a half here. Let's see, they have this white and green color right here. White and green color. Oh yes, okay, they do. And then we can see, okay, eight and a half here. So let's see. Oh yeah, check this out. So this is actually pretty good here. Assuming this is the right item, which we can see the metal right here. Yep. So we can see 46 bucks, right? Only 10 left in this size. And there's a couple that are out of stock here specifically, or actually most of the size are out of stock. This looks pretty promising here. If we go here and plug in uh, 46 right here, right? We can see that leaves a really, really solid profit. The problem is that the demand is pretty low. It's a 220K sales rank right here. So if I were going to test this, I would test super light. And I would probably plan on undercutting the price to get this moving a little quicker. Because even if this sells at 95 here, that's still 24 bucks profit after shipping fees, sales tax, and literally everything right there. So this is the type of product where this is a little bit slower selling, but I would probably test this just because the profit margin is so high. And I can see there are reviews just a little bit slower selling, but this is in demand right now. And let's see, what about these guys right here? So let's see, they got all these in stock here. Ooh, they do. Yeah, they got a bunch of these in stock on Dix here. Okay, so let's see. Gray, white ones. Let's see. I'll top down to variations on Keepa here. Let's see. Let's see. They got the gray, white ones here. It doesn't appear. Oh, okay, yeah, they got a couple of these. Yeah, so we can see they're up here at about 100, so that's not going to work at 60. Right there, that one was nice and profitable, though. Let's see these arm sleeves right here. Ooh, these are moving. Check this out. Yeah, look at that. 3K BSR here, about 3,600 sales per month. Let's go ahead and plug this in. Let's see. So these arm sleeves at 14, yeah, 14 selling at 17. Uh, definitely is not profitable there. Um, such, we'll keep rolling here. Let's see. Okay, Nike men's baseball pants here. Let's see. Yeah, look at these. So check this out. If we look historically, if we take out these other guys here, we can see, look at the demand and that the demand is way higher in the spring and summer, aka the sales rank's way lower here. So this is a perfect example of the type of product you want to be selling right now. So let's see. If we go here and type in variations, we can see. So we're hanging out at like 55-ish. We want to pay like 25 to 30 right here. Let's see. If we go ahead and plug this in here, we can see, okay, Nike Core baseball pants right here. Baseball Express, they got them discounted. And then Shields Inhibit right here. Let's see. So 22 right here. They got the white ones. And we got another 15% off right here. If you're ever unsure that a supplier is legit, just go ahead and check their trust pilot and Better Business Bureau. Check out if they got any reviews on Google and such. That's going to be a really good lit in this test if something's legit here. We can see these white baseball pants at $22.99 right here. $22.99. Um, what's the lowest price here? So these don't have a buy box. However, a lot of uh, a lot of sellers are scared of stuff that doesn't have a buy box. We can see, yeah, this is nice and profitable. If we take a look at historically, it was literally out of stock for a while. Competition's up, so I can we can expect that this will probably go down a little bit right here. But at a lowest price of 60, this is a really nice profit where this can literally go down a ton, like 20% and still be fine here after sales tax and everything right there. So that's absolutely not bad. So you guys can see like utilizing ChatGPT, it tells us the best performing types of products. And then it's just on us to go ahead and look this stuff up in reseller friendly brands, right? So for example, you know, during summer, this is going to change and such, right? And we can see these Nike baseball belts right here, right? So it's Currently uh, 37 bucks, right? So our max cost is 12 bucks on seller amp here. Let's go ahead and plug this in. Adult baseball belt here. We can see, yeah, check this out. So 12 bucks right here, right? We can see on Alice Sporting Goods, I've actually bought from the supplier. A lot of people don't think it's legit here, right? So if we go ahead and plug this in here, we're paying 11.99 here. We can see that's pretty close to being good here. And we can see it has been higher in the past. It's, this is a pretty stable, replenishable type of product here. Now, I don't know any coupons for Alice. I know this uh, probably won't work here. It's a decent idea to always just ask the customer service if they have any sort of discount um, specifically here because that's pretty damn close to being a profitable SKU um, specifically right there. And I have the FBM numbers factored in right there. Might be able to snag some buy box share a little bit higher, close to like 25, 49 and such. But either way, 
all of these colors are really close to being good at the $12 buy cost here. And it'd be worth hitting up customer service to see if they have any sort of additional discount right here. So let's see, 14. Yeah, we can see we pay 12 for that. So it's definitely not going to work here. Let's see. Uh, this Under Armour baseball pants, we can see, yeah, Amazon's got 100% of the buy box share. So that's not going to work. We can check the variations to see if there's any movement uh, specifically here on these and such that we can see. Yeah, okay, so like these, for example, there's a lot more movement here. So we know Amazon's price share in the buy box on these guys specifically here. Let's see, so these are at 30 right here. Right here, we can see. Yeah, so this one we know that even though it looks like Amazon has the vast majority of the buy box share, I can see movement in the third-party offer count. So I know that third-party sellers are getting sales here. We can see, yeah, like if we take a look here, sure, only getting 8% or Amazon's only sharing 8% of it, but we can see that the BSR is 2K and there's nice movement in the off-count, so we know people are making money on this stuff, um, specifically here, right here. So for example, like this isn't a good skew here, but what I love and what I think the main use case for ChatGPT is identifying what products are hot, right? And then it's on you to identify what brands are reseller friendly in those specific types of products here, and then letting the Amazon search results show you what is currently popping off. Because if Amazon's showing it in a search result, it means customers are buying it in terms of theme around that specific type of product here, right? So I think this is stuff is going to evolve. Hopefully, it'll be able to source products for us someday. But right now, it's really helpful for identifying what stuff is currently performing well. And then it's on you to be able to go ahead and let Amazon show you the search results, identify reseller-friendly brands, and then track items down profitably as well. Another sourcing method I think would really go well with this would be the keep a product finder sourcing method. That's something I primarily cover in my coaching program with the students I work with one-on-one. -on -one. If you're interested in working directly with me to scale up with all in arbitrage, highly recommend checking out my coaching program down below. What you can expect from that is going to be a live one-on-one -on -one sourcing call with myself, three group coaching calls per week, tons of coupons, tips, tricks, and then like I said, keep a product finder source strategies I don't share anywhere else as well as you're just going to have unparalleled direct one-on-one -on -one access to me for anything you need to scale up with online arbitrage. So like I said, you can check out the link down below in the description for that. And then if you guys have any good chat GPT use cases for online arbitrage, let me know and you can check out my full zero to 10K a month blueprint right here and my full ungated tour right here. If you want more good free Amazon content, make sure to subscribe for more and I'll see y'all on the next one.